everyone. Um, in case any of you don't know, my name is Ryan. Well, we've um, intentionally tried to reach out to as many students as possible and make this a group effort to make this all about solidarity and talking to each other and actively listening. So we just might, we want to keep that in mind while we're having this entire um, gathering right now. Okay, so just continuing on with the conversation, does anyone have any reflections about what happened in Baker? Um, I think it's important that we comment on the positives and the negatives because I think that both of those occurred and want to be critical. Um, I think the positives were seeing how many people came out to Occupy Baker and how inspirational and just astounding that was. Um, one of the negatives was seeing the reaction of um, other fellow students on campus who didn't understand what we were doing. Um, later that night I went on Facebook and yeah, yeah. And I saw people that thought we're just sitting there. Um, they didn't understand that we're actually having a conversation. Right, and that moves us on to what is this? All right, I think this is kind of the most important conversation we're going to have tonight. Because so we need to frame this conversation into what exactly is this and what do we want to mold it into. So I appreciate um, all opinions, but I also want to encourage you to think about action. Um, and no action is a, too small. So please, like, Give me all your ideas. In no way should this like be a replacement for other black works that are already exist. Like in the OCP, BSU, 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 all still be doing everything they're doing. Um, but I would like to see the leadership from these orgs coming together and having conversations. And if we want to like gain power against like you know the biggest power, uh, we have to like gain uh, strength first. Um, so I think, like, how do we want to continue? I, I, I think, personally, that it'd be very necessary to come out of this meeting with very clear ideas of um, how we're going to continue to organize, so we can make like, decisions about that collectively, like, um, think about the existing organizations. And we, basically, we need a coalition, right? Like, we need to be working together on these issues um, in, like, a very, like, public way that's also uh, concise, right? Okay, I think we're gonna move on and just one of our demands. Alright, so no one is green when they see these demands. I know there's some um, controversial topics on here, but that's what we're gonna talk about. I'm still in favor of having disarming the police departments as a demand because uh, I think, like, the fact that, like, police, like, walk around campus with a gun, uh, it's, like, it's just like, it act like, whether or not it's intended to do it, it just it serves as like a like a fear mechanism and like a mechanism to instill in us like oh like we have power over you. I saw on the UTX someone was saying they were going to come at nine o'clock on at the Saturday with their guns, but they were mad that we were going to meet there. So I just, they didn't come obviously, but if they were to, I don't know if like for coming on campus where at least don't have some way to control that. So uh, we've got a lot of things up there to talk about the police. Um, and I think that consolidating those things down to police reform of some kind might make that a little easier to talk about because I agree that if you start talking about disarming the police, you're going to have a lot of people shutting down. It's an important topic and possibly something to strive for. So if you open with you want to disarm the police, have the person to be like, well, they're never happy because no one needs them. I think that um, from what I see up there, I like one, uh, two, I guess, would technically be disarm the OPAB slash police reform, and six, because I think those are really um, vital um, demands that we need in order to sort of push this university and each other to kind of be a better place. Cultural competency is for educating um, as many people as we can about uh, different ethnicities, backgrounds, um, uh, better interactions with the police department. I will never argue against that. And I think better minority representation at OU ties into um, looking into how the university um, recruits people from different backgrounds, who they're looking, uh, what the donation of money is going towards, whether that's minority scholarships, et cetera. 